example to my whole army. Please, my angel, if you love me, enjoy yourself. Ride as much as you like, but carefully, and keep for me your dear, precious health, so that when I'm back again, I shall find you really well, and we can be so happy together. It was a June morning in 1859. Above the village of Solferino, Napoleon made his headquarters. The two emperors, both thirsty for glory, now faced each other. They had nearly 300,000 men between them, and nobody had the faintest idea of how to handle such great numbers. The two armies finally bumped into each other by accident. The slaughter was terrifying. 40,000 men lay dead and wounded on the battlefield. It was this horror which inspired a young Swiss, Henri Dunant, who witnessed it, to form the International Red Cross. The Austrians had lost, and Franz Joseph's heart was broken. 3,000 skulls remain as a memorial to the Battle of Solferino. Franz Joseph wrote to Elizabeth. I have learnt much and experienced much, and I know what it feels like to be a beaten general. Both emperors were so shaken by the spectacle of such wholesale slaughter that they made peace with almost indecent haste. France took Nice and Savoy for herself and delivered Lombardy to Cavour, leaving Venetia to Austria, but only for another seven years. Franz Joseph returned to Vienna humiliated. He found discontent openly displayed. Flattered by unwise advisers, two and three times his age, he had relied on discipline and severe impartiality to see him through. Schwarzenberg had taught him how to command, but not how to govern. Solitary as never before, in the formal splendor of his capital, he applied himself to the task of reappraisal. He started by introducing experiments in controlled democracy, trying to understand the problems of his different peoples. He began using ministers like generals, listening to their conflicting advice, demanding to be told everything, using them to execute predetermined policies, dropping them ruthlessly when these policies were found not to work. But there was a deeply emotional background to Franz Joseph's rule. He'd been married six years, and his wife had borne him three children. The eldest girl had died as a baby, but Elizabeth was now in open conflict with her mother-in-law on the upbringing of their young son, Rudolf. But she was not a good mother. It was at this time that she first ran away to Madeira.
from now on, it was to be a lifetime of flight.